For those who engage in passing bodily waste in the open, it is one call of nature that they must answer, irrespective of the place, the time, and the person involved in this act. Areas like Area 1 Roundabout, Gariki, Okonjiwela Street in Otako, Julius Berger Bus Stop, Mabushi Roundabout, mentioned just a few, have gained notoriety for open defecation. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, over 47 million Nigerians are involved in open defecation and poor sanitation and hygiene practices, with Nigerians in North Central in the lead. In the Federal Capital Territory, the Federal Minister of Water Resources claimed that over 50% of residents defecate openly because of the non-availability of public toilets. What else do you want to make this toilet better? Okay. I need air freshener, Aizen. I need Hypo. I need brush. Okay. I need Humblo. I need cover shoe. Because you know where you, you know where I'm gloves. Where okay. So, how much do they charge? For person we want to do the first one, person we want to do the second one. This is one piece. Mm. I will charge ten naira. In okay. case you want shit, I will charge fourteen naira. So here now, man or woman is that? This is problem to the man or woman. Lack of public toilet is one of the reasons people resort to open defecation in many parts of Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. According to the 2016-2017 Multiple Indicator Cluster Survey by UNICEF did in Nigeria, open defecation has remained a challenge both in urban and rural areas. The survey shows Nigeria has the second highest prevalence of open defecation in the world. According to UNICEF, 25% of Nigerians defecate openly and only three local government areas in the country are open defecation free. So while in the market, I stumbled on Clement, who happened to have used a public toilet there. Of course, I threw a question at him. I'm not seeing a public toilet outside, outside the market. So, so when, when it comes, how do you do it outside? When the thing holds you, how do when you get it? Yeah. If I see a place like a uh, market like this, like all this bag, all everything, mm. toilet there inside, mm. you can go inside, I'll do your thing. It may interest you to know that there are less than 10 public toilets in the FCT. Ideally, public toilets are supposed to be within every 600 meters. And so, we decided to public toilet hunt, driving through the stretch of Jabi Utako Berger Roundabout, which is about 3 kilometers. There was no public toilet. Look at where people are selling food eat. Look at where we are sitting, looking for our daily bread. Toilet now, hope you. You can't, you, no matter how you went under motor or anywhere there, you mm. piss or you shit. Nowhere you can ease yourself safely that is this for government public toilet. We didn't have it here. From here, beggar to say all, we didn't have public toilet. All the way from here to Otaku, from here to Use Market, there's no any public toilet. However, the agency responsible for the provision of these public toilets, Abuja Environmental Protection Board, seem to have turned their back on the growing menace of open defecation. So we decided to visit the Health and Sanitation Department of AEPB. Open defecation has been with us for a very long time. Like you know, at that event, the guest speaker told us from available information that Nigeria is second globally in open defecation. From our discussion with the head of the department in charge of environment, health and sanitation, Simeon Ajuisi, it became clear that the non-provision of public toilet is to be placed at the door of the FCT minister as several memos and committees have raised this problem. We have stakeholders who are willing to invest to build up this toilet. So, given the approach we have now, if we have a uh, the political will can achieve this five-year plan. However, 
While Nigerians have expressed disappointment in the performance of the outgoing FCT minister, the minutes of open defecation cut across all states in the country. For the Federal Capital Territory, it now falls on the incoming minister to restore the cleanliness and sanity which the nation's capital is known for. For now, it's a waiting game. Roots TV Nigeria.